Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are in South Carolina near Myrtle Beach and we are bringing you a video from Coastal Sports Cards. And man, this card store is great. Let's give you a little tour. The owner was really, really awesome. Let us film in there. And he actually also subscribed to the channel, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna give you a tour and show you everything that they have here. First thing I noticed was the store is very, very clean, very well organized, and they had a nice selection of all different sports. We'll start off by showing you just kind of an overview of the baseball card selection here. They've got autographs, they've got rookie cards, they've got vintage, they've got relics, numbered cards, whole bunch of good stuff here. We're also going to show you the packs and actually i'm going to pick up five of their custom packs that they made in their card store we'll show those to you right now once we swing around after looking at that shohei otani here they are up in the corner all of their inventory whole bunch of um, unopened wax and if you look there in the lower left you will see a collection of packs there they've got baseball football and basketball they had five baseball ones they're called the absolute fire hot packs you can see they're 25 dollars a pack and i asked about them and he said they're pretty popular with the store and um he makes them up once they sell out so uh, i decided to buy five just to make sure you know what if we got a bad pack so i always like to get a nice sample size so i bought all five that they had he said they're filled with uh some nice stuff and you know for 25 bucks you're not going to go wrong with them so we'll see if that's the case or not the guy seemed like a really straight shooter really nice guy so I, I i bet you he's telling the truth we'll find out here in just a minute so next showcase we'll give you a little look here just in case you're in that area and want to go and grab a card that you see in the showcase or i always like to show you the inventory as well because then it gives you an idea of what kind of stuff they have available to you now there's no prices on anything so if you're interested in any cards you'll just have to uh you'll have to ask the owner what the price is and he uh oftentimes will quote you under ebay which is nice over here this wall was pretty cool uh, all of these cards here are organized by sport and they're actually organized by players name as well and everything here is a dollar so if you are interested in Aaron Judge you can go to the A's and find Aaron Judge in there and he's also got a deal where you can fill a team bag here's the details about that if you'd like to save a little bit of money you can fill a team bag for $15 it's many cards you can jam in there um, in their top loaders you can have them all for 15 bucks so I went through those for a little bit there was Randy Johnson rookie cards in there Craig Vigios lots of nice stuff here we have some fat packs on the wall and we'll swing around to the other side of the store which i haven't shown yet the middle and we've got cheap slabs for ten dollars a piece so there's some keston here slabs in there and some other lower end slabs but nice for 10 bucks all psa nines or so and here's a box baseball for 40 bucks i grabbed this figured why not give it a try and see what's in there so thank you so much for watching everybody hope you hit that thumbs up button make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to tap that notification bell and make sure you check out coastal cards we had a great trip i'm going to bring you one more video from this trip now let's go and rip open what we picked up from coastal cards all right everybody we're back from myrtle beach and this is the haul from coastal sports cards we visited three card stores while there and this was the best one the other two did not film a video at they just weren't uh, quite up to snuff with coastal cards in my opinion also we have another video coming soon where it's the flea market a big giant vendor flea market in myrtle beach picked up some cards there as well probably we'll do that one on tuesday and also we have mystery box monday coming tomorrow with a really nice j claus series 7 he has pared it down and uh up up the ante with the hits and pared out the base cut out the fat so to speak but before we go into all this stuff you see here we're giving away this ronald acuna jr short print rookie card you have to have your notifications on and you have to be subscribed so if you go to the subscribe button make sure you've tapped it first of all and then there's a bell next to it tap that bell click all and then try to get the first comment in any video from the month of august we'll pick a winner at the end of the month all right so now let's go ahead and go through these all of the stuff you see here this is all for p word p word is sponsoring this video if you'd like to sponsor a video like this one or participate in our breaks check us out on patreon there's a link in the description there for you to sign up but anyway these were 25 dollars a piece i believe and he said that there's going to be some parallels and I think one guaranteed auto or relic per pack. So not bad for 25 bucks. Look at all those cards. 
Let's see what we can find in here. So we got a Sam Huff rookie card from Bowen Platinum. There's Key Brian Hayes rookie, Alec Bohm. So he's putting in a lot of the better rookies from 2021. There's Tristan McKenzie, Chrome rookie card. I think he just struck out like seven guys in the last start. Joey Bart, whole lot of uh, nice stuff. This is a good card as well, a Derek Jeter future star card. That's an awesome card from 1995 Tops. We've got William Contreras rookie card, an all-star. So the selection of rookies that he's put in here, pretty good so far. Also saw Jared Kelnick. We'll see if he can get things going. It's been uh, kind of a slow going for him the past couple years. There's Alec Manoa rookie card, Kbert Ruiz rookie. And by the way, I also picked up this giant box as well. This was just sitting on the shelf next to his brake pad there. And he said that that's the way he gets rid of a lot of his base. Um, puts them in those giant boxes, and he says they're pretty popular. So, luckily enough, there's one there, and I grabbed it. Kevin Alcantara is a nice one. We got some Mojos, a Dean Soreas. So, a lot of nice first Bowmans and rookies. There's Ryan Mountcastle rookie card, Bobby Dalbeck, and a Garbage Pal Kids card. Mouth Phil, that's an original from 1980. Is that an 85 original? How cool is that? 86 original Garbage Pal Kid card. Man, I used to collect those as a kid, so that's pretty awesome. At the back, we're going to have our hit, I believe. It's going to be an Anthony Rizzo. It's a Mother's Day pink jersey, so that is our hit right there. So, P. Work, first pack in the books for you. Let's go on to the next one. Now, there's only five of these in the store, and I bought all of them. I figured might as well buy all five of these. He said he makes them up from time to time. So, by the time you're seeing this video, I'm sure he's already replenished his supply. Next up, pack number two, we have a bunch more rookies. Primarily, most of the stuff in here is from 2021, with um, some cards mixed in from 2022. As here you see some of those 1987 wood grain cards. Here's some 2022 cards right now. So Freddie Freeman, red out of 2022. I think the hit's going to be at the back of each and every one of these packs. Some of the good rookies from Series 1 right there. There's Nico Horner rated rookie. A couple of those from Optic. Maximo Cost out of $9.99 from Elite. Good old Packy Naughton, one of the best baseball names out there. Like that name a lot. There's a J-Rod Mojo from 2022 Bowman. That's a nice card. Joey Bart from Chrome Platinum Anniversary. That's out of $1.99. Nice card right there. I like that one. Here's our hit. It's going to be... A, it's an autograph of Taylor Trammell. Good, good, good name right there. I like Taylor Trammell. And that is going to be his rookie auto. So a nice one right there. We'll get that one in the top loader there for you, P-Wirt. And we're moving on now to pack number, oh, three out of five. By the way, Coastal Cards, really cool store. And uh, the owner there was uh, super nice, super generous. I should also point out, I'm actually wearing their hat right now. They gave me some merch. And uh, the hat definitely came in handy in this at the sunny beach. There's Jared Kelnick. For whatever reason, I always forget my hats or lose my hats. By the way, that's out of 25, it looks like, or maybe 75. 75, so a numbered Kelnick rookie from Triple Threads. What a nice card that is. Definitely some really good stuff sprinkled in throughout. Whole lots of parallels. You're seeing gold foils and numbered cards as well. And they give you a bunch of them as well. Big, giant handful helping here. There's Austin Martin. Let's see what we've got at the back end here. There's Robert Hassel, pro debut Chrome. That's a nice one. Like that one a lot. He just got traded over to Washington a couple weeks ago in the Juan Soto deal. There's arguably the best card in 2022 Bowman right there. It's Khalil Watson. It's his first. And Luis Robert, freshman flash rookie card. From Topps Chrome 2020, another great card. 2022 Chrome will be coming out soon. And Adinso Reyes autograph. That's a Mojo Auto right there. So some nice stuff so far. You'll have to let me know what you think of this. And if you've been to Coastal Cards and uh, that's your local card store, let us know in the comments. Seems like a pretty nice place. I think the last time we were in Myrtle Beach, how long ago was that, Heather? Was that two years ago? Two years ago i don't think we saw this place i don't know if they're new or not or maybe i just wasn't uh looking to do a video down there but i figured you know what might as well take a break from the beach we were uh right on the beach there so we'd swim in the morning and then got to lunch and just hit up a couple card stores after lunch when the sun was at its hottest look at this joe adele gold rookie card that's awesome out of 2022 i really appreciate my numbered rookies there's a Giancarlo Stan that one's out of just 50 
It's a Mother's Day Jean Carl out of 50. This card alone is probably worth, I don't know, $15. I feel like Mother's Day out of 50 cards go for a nice amount. And uh, Lord Ace Guriel out of 76, another tough pull from Tops. There's a Gavin Lux rookie card. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Walker Bueller rookie card. Corey Seager rookie card. I approve of these packs, folks. Thumbs up to this. Um, every now and then you'll buy mystery packs and you'll be a little worried that you're going to get complete trash. And it's just going to be a bunch of base. But there's Marco Luciano, 499. Jake Arrieta, rookie, and another autograph. It's Braxton Garrett, rookie card. So out of the uh, five packs that I've purchased, three of four have had autographs. Very, very nice. All right, last one from these absolute fire. And then we'll take a look at the card dump. So this, I don't know if these are all going to be commons or what, but this is a great way for companies just to get rid of all their commons, especially breakers. And if you accumulate a whole bunch of cards, there'll be opportunities where other breakers will just get rid of their base that way. So we'll go through that as well and see what's in there. As we check out our last pack, there's a Wander Franco home run challenge card. Might have a, a chance at maybe calling his home run. He'll be back maybe in a week or two. He was on a rehab assignment, had some soreness in his hand, so that shut him down. So once he gets... Uh, going again will probably take about a week or two and hope to see him again by September. There's Jordan Alvarez rookie card, Kyle Seeger 150. Love Jordan Alvarez, one of my top 10 favorite players. Brian Reynolds with the Gold Cup, a basketball card sprinkled in there. A couple of Yordies right there, prospect cards, those are from 2019 Bowman. Jazz Chisholm, Wander Franco rated rookie card in there. Mike Trout, a nice 1977 George Brett card. Always love vintage. It's always nice when that works its way in. And a 77 Tony Perez cloth card as well. A couple Hall of Famers there. 77, there's a Randy Rosarena rookie card from Topps Update. Tim Lincecum rookie card. CJ Abrams and our final hit. It's going to be another autograph. So four out of five had autos, and that's going to be Brendan McKay. So very, very nice one right there. Nice product. I like it. Absolute fire. Definitely worth it, I think for the price point. So now we have this big boy right here. It's $40 for this, a giant eBay box. I would say this bad boy weighs maybe about, I don't know, 10 pounds or so. So probably a lot of cards in here. Let's go through and see what is in here right now. I figured this would be fun to go through inside. There's some packing peanuts. And uh, man, we already have some, already have some cards on the top that I like. I don't really like the uh, the Junk Wax from 1990, I predict, but I do like those Inception cards that I'm seeing right there. I see Cal Rally. I also see a parallel of Anthony Rendon as well. So any uh, Junk Wax stuff, I'll probably just fly through it, stuff from like 1990. Otherwise, this video would be very, very long. I try to keep the videos to a manageable, tidy 20 minutes or so when I can. All right, so here's what I'm looking at, folks. I'm just going to pull stacks out and we'll go through them. All right, so here we have some Inception. Anthony Rendon leads things off. These are from 2022 Inception. Got select cards there as well. Kyle Lewis, Ronald Acuna Jr. So it looks like he left in some stars here. It's not going to just all be base stuff. Marcus Semien is numbered out of 199. He did say there'd be numbered cards. And I forget if he said there'd be an autograph in here as well. Here's 2022 Bowman. Ryan Vallade looks like somebody was in a Rockies break and uh, got dumped in here. That's not too bad. There's some nice Rockies players from 2022 Bowman. I like Zach Veen a lot. Next, we've got some more Absolute coming up, which, by the way, we have a big consignment coming up. I forgot to bring the box down. Heather, could you go grab that giant box for me? We have a big consignment coming up tonight. I should have uh, showed it at the beginning here, but we'll do it at the end. That was a numbered uh, Miggy, by the way. Byron Buxton, Curtis Terry rookie card. We've got some select cards here as well. And we've got some 2021 Donruss cards going on in here. Go ahead and move all this stuff over. Did I go through these yet? I did not. We got some more Rockies cards. I got confused there because I saw more Rockies. I know that uh, I'd already shown you some of those. Heather's got the box. We'll bring that in at the end of the video once I go through all of these. And we'll show you what we've got. We're doing a consignment from 52 cards by Rob G tonight. Here's a bunch of Dodgers. Will Smith right there. 
and some Blue Jays. Looks like a lot of these are, maybe this was a divisional break. Got some Blue Jays, got some Rays together there. All right, next, let's go back and show you what else we've got in here. I see some Chrome, some Bowman Chrome coming up. Some more 2021 stuff right here. There's Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express. Definitely, uh, if you wanted to make some lots out of these, you could make some money back. He did say if you wanted to make lots or sell them off card by card, you'd come out on the positive side. You'd come out in the green. You know, that takes a lot of work. That's why a lot of people kind of shy away from lots like this because if you wanted to make your money back, which you can, like there's Taylor Trammell. You might be able to sell that one for a couple bucks. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card, might be able to sell that for a buck or two. Akil Badu. But it does take some work, especially if you're going to go the eBay right route and sell them off card by card by card. Taking pictures of every card. There's a Jared Walsh, Topps Chrome. I really like the uh, Topps Allen and Ginter Chrome. They're nice. I'm not a big fan of Allen and Ginter typically, but anytime you splash some Chrome on some cards, they always seem to just, I don't know, be much nicer to me. All right, here we go. We've got a couple football cards mixed in there. Got a 2019 Yachty. Don Mattingly from 1990. Sammy Sosa, rookie card, 1990 Don Russ. There's Marquise Grissom, which was a hot card back in the day. All right, so I'll go back. By the way, when I go through these P work, I think I've already gone through that stack with Rendon. I will go through and put these into like 400 count boxes or so, so that they're not rattling around. Obviously, cards stacked up like this in a box, they weren't meant to be shipped this way. That's why they're you know just sitting in the store. If I would was to ship it the way that they're in the box right now, all the corners would get damaged. All right, so I just pulled out some more stacks. Let's see what else we can find in here. Got some more Bowman Chrome from 2021. Juan Soto, Vladdy definitely left the stars, and like I said before, there's a J Rod, a 2021 Julio Rodriguez Bowman card, very nice. Garrett Crochet rookie card. Oh, we got some of the good old 92 Pinnacle cards. Like I said, I'll probably skip those by. Pristine's in here. Very nice. Pristine's not a uh, not a cheap box at all. So you get some of the base cards from Pristine. And Inception also, another box that's not that cheap. We'll go through the rest of these. So mostly newer stuff. Hey, there's Nicky Lopez. There's Ryan Zimmerman, which usually means Wander's next. Looks like Wander's been lifted, you know, understandably. Put in the showcase, I'm sure. That Wanda Franco is such a hot card. There's J-Rod. He left all the J-Rods in, though, which is pretty awesome. Here we go with some more pristine cards. A very very nice product. Not very fun to open, though. I kind of despise opening packs of these just because there's three packs in one, and they, they're they kind of, uh, I don't know, tedious to open, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. <clears throat> all right, next stack for p -Wart. We have some more 2021 Bowman Chromes. Right here, there's J.J. Blade, nice prospect. He's up in the big leagues now. Probably not going to see his rookie card until Series 1 of 2023 tops. The unofficial cutoff point is around second week in June. We saw this happen with um, Jordan Alvarez. He came up like June 9th or something like that, and he had just missed the cutoff point by about a day. And even though he came up... Um, in plenty of time to be an update, he did not appear until, what was that, 2020 Top Series 1. We were all hoping he was going to be in 2019 update. Would have been nice, but he, alas, was not. He's in Series 1, so had to wait extra long for Yordi. That's going to be the case with some guys this year, like Brett Beatty coming into the big leagues, making a splash. We might not see Adley Rushman either until 2022. So 2020. Or sorry, 2023. Man, that sounds still like so far off. We might not see those big rookies until next spring. In uh, typically February is when the cards come out. We got some more pristine cards coming up, but update will be coming up not uh, too far in the, the future. We got some Casey Mize and Andrew Vaughns, Alex Kirloff. So a lot of the good rookies cards here from Topps Chrome Update whole bunch of good ones right there. There's Dylan Carlson and Taylor Trammell. 
There's Michael Harris. He's going to be a big one. Hopefully, he's going to be an update as well this year. There's Andy LaRoche from back in the day. Good old Andy LaRoche. Never worked out for the Buccos. All right, next up, we've got Austin Meadows. But anyway, the big rookie cards for update. We haven't seen the checklist yet, but it's probably going to be J-Rod. Got some 90 Fleer right there. We'll skip that by. I would say J-Rod 1. Bobby Witt, 2. Torkelson, 3. And we'll see who else is in there. Jeremy Payne is hopefully going to be in there as well, along with a bunch of other nice rookie cards. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, wait for the checklist to come out, and then take a close look at the, uh, at the print runs on those. I'm wondering if they're going to print that to the moon because there's going to be a whole bunch of demand for those big-name rookie cards. I'm sure we'll have a bunch of uh, nice rookie debut cards in there as well, so there'll be another shot at another Wander Franco rookie card as he'll likely have a rookie debut in there along with all the other top 20 or to 25 rookies. All right, here we have some more 2021. We've got Joe Adele rookie card right there. Leover Piguero, that's a nice card. It is a uncorrected error. It does not have the first designation on the card. So there's supposed to be a little first where it says first Bowman, but they forgot to put it there. So sometimes you can find that card in like a 10 cent box. He's a good prospect for the Buccos. He also had a cup of coffee this year. He came up for a short stint. So that should be enough to get him a rookie card. Maybe in 2023 tops, there's a nice Jonathan India rookie card. It's a class two from gold label that may just means it's a little bit of a short print kind of a short print class ones are the most common class twos are, i think are one in every pack class threes are every other pack so they have different photos as well on them so if you ever see gold label try to squint your eyes and see if it's a class two or three and if it is if it's a good price you might want to grab it a whole bunch more absolute cards right here so a bunch of stuff to go through if you're a pc guy you can go through and pick out whoever you have pc like bunch of Luis Roberts sprinkled in throughout this. J-Rods as well. Very popular. You got Bo Bichette's in here. Uh, there's Yermin Mercedes. He's kind of, kind of fallen from grace. What else? So there's a bunch of 90 upper deck right there. Maybe not a bunch, but a stack of it. We'll just skip that and go through some more here. There's a Dylan Carlson. Nice rookie card from Allen and Ginter Chrome. Alejandro Kirk got some more base cards right here as well from 2021 Don Ross so it looks like most of this stuff that's left in here might be there's Jared Kelnick rookie card looks like most of the stuff might be 90 upper deck this last stack or so so we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up I want to show you this consignment auction but overall um, definitely some awesome cards in here from Coastal Cards, and they also, I'd like to give them a big shout out. Here's another stack that I just found. Big shout out for the merch. I'll show you their hat that they gave me that I'm wearing right now and stuff. Take it off my head. Just want to go through a couple more. Just really like the Allen and Ginter Chrome cards. All the good rookies are in here from 2021. Bobby Dalbeck, saw Kirloff earlier. Those were guys that everyone was chasing after there. But here's the hat. Coastal sports cards. And now, Heather, if you'd like to bring in the, the box, and she's pointing around. Oh, it's right at my feet. Perfect. All right, so tonight we're doing a big consignment auction. So, P Word, thank you very much. And thanks to the folks at Coastal Cards. Awesome card store right there. If you're in the Myrtle Beach area on vacation, make sure you make that a destination point for you. All right, so look at all this. Probably just weighed. 40 pounds to lift that, or it was 40 pounds to lift that. Luckily, it didn't hurt my back. All these cards are top loaded up. Now, I'm not going to go through all these. I'm just going to show you a little teaser or two. We have a booklet rookie card of Corbin Burns in a... Have you ever seen a one-touch like this? A booklet one-touch? How cool is that? That's up for auction tonight. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well. These are all organized in lots. We have vintage 80s and 90s cards right here in lots and there's going to be some stars mixed in and some old stuff as well and i'll probably lot some of these up maybe do like usually i do like 10 15 cards at once uh, all together here i think i estimated there's probably at least 120 lots and that's 
that would take me an awful long time to go through all of that. So I think I'll probably do a couple lots in here. We've also got modern cards as well. We pull out some modern cards. You'll see like Xander Bogarts rookie cards, and these are all in uh, lots right there. There's Frankie Lindor first Bowman Chrome card, which is a nice one. Tatis rookie cards. You know, he's not the man anymore, but uh, still might be able to get that on the cheap. So a whole bunch of modern stuff right there. There's slabs as well. There's autographs, relics, one of ones, and Hall of Fame autos in here. I haven't gone through these too much yet. Here's the one of one. Jorge Soler, home run king of the 20, what was it, 2019 American League. Hank Aaron, 1970 tops, to give you a little glance at that. Another good cards in here as well. There's a Mark McGuire rookie card. So a lot of good stuff to go through tonight. I'll probably try to get started around uh, the Ricky Henderson rookie card. We've got graded rookies as well. There's a Jordan. There's a Derek Jeter, PSA 8. Uh, we got, looks like Daryl Strawberry, a lot there. Maybe some old Mets cards. Tony Gwynn rookie card. Just a whole bunch of stuff. So, like I said, try to get started. Here's a Willie Mays 1959 Tops card. Try to get started maybe around 7 o'clock tonight. So, I hope you can join us for that. We will auction all of this stuff off. Now, if you have cards that you'd like me to auction for you, um, you can come into our auction and you know let me know and right now i have a couple other auctions lined up for us we also have nick's collection and carlos's collection will be coming up on thursday and sundays but our auctions are typically every sunday and thursday night so i hope that you can join us for those if you have your notifications on youtube will let you know through the uh, youtube app when we're going live typically they give you a 30 minute heads up and then once again, when I go live, they'll tell you again, hey, Jabs Family's live with an auction. You can come in and check it out. Anybody can bid on these as long as you have PayPal. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. That's it. So, folks, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday, and I hope to see you in the auction tonight. Good night, everybody.